In the early 1950s, a group of folks gathered to form a new Episcopal congregation to serve the Blanco area. Eventually, they acquired land and built a mission church named St. Michael and All Angels Episcopal Church. In September of 1956, they opened the new sanctuary and parish hall in the unincorporated area, then known as Pittsburgh, located just across the river from downtown Blanco. Sometime later, the members added on to the parish hall, nearly doubling its size. In what must have been a bold move for such a small congregation, they decided to purchase the adjacent property on the north side of the church. A generous member procured an old house which was beautifully remodeled and is today used for Sunday school and nursery, as well as a meeting room for various organizations. This house is known as the Sunday House. Over a period of time, volunteers made good use of the property with its beautiful old oak trees by adding a labyrinth walk and patio with picnic tables, providing an outdoor space to enjoy social gatherings and potluck luncheons. This outdoor area also provides for overflow crowds at larger events such as weddings and funerals. When the property on the south side of the church came available, the congregation again took the leap of faith and purchased the lot on the corner of Academy in Pittsburgh. This acquisition, a 1930s era house, came to be called the White House. Over the years, it was evaluated for uses such as additional offices or meeting rooms. However, because of its condition, it was mostly used for storage, primarily for items to be sold at the semi-annual rummage sale. In 2018, the Bishop's Committee appointed a site planning committee to present an overall concept for the three contiguous tracks that today make up the St. Michael's Church campus. The committee had several objectives, to decide on the best use for the White House, to evaluate how best to meet the growing parking needs, to integrate the various properties into a uniform concept, and most specifically, to present a concept for an outside prayer garden. This space needed to be designed so that it was accessible at all times for the congregation and the nearby community to worship or meditate. Since opening the doors in 1956, St. Michael's had an open door policy. Should the church need to lock the doors, an outside sacred space would carry on this tradition. As Blanco County and the surrounding areas grow, so do the needs of the community the church serves. After almost two years of studying the property and obtaining drawings and bids, the site planning committee presented a three-fold project to include a memorial garden, additional parking, connecting walkways, and additional storage and refreshing the landscape. These projects are being cost evaluated in individual stages so that they can be completed in total or in part. The committee looked at several options for the White House, but after great deliberation, the White House was successfully relocated. Moving this structure opened the track on which it sat for future resurfacing, providing needed additional parking spaces. Again, bold ideas are being presented to our congregation. The addition of the new parking lot doubles the existing parking spaces. 
A tree expert has been on site with advice on how to position the parking, keeping the health and well-being of the large live oak trees located throughout the property. Walkways and easy to maintain landscaping, as well as fencing the church perimeter, will help integrate the three tracks together, resulting in improved accessibility over and across the church campus. The Memorial Garden and Columbarium design goal is to create a sacred setting for moments of prayer. The chosen location serenely shelters the stage columbarium wall for up to 72 niches designated for the internment of loved ones. The columbarium placed along the south outside wall of the church symbolically strengthens our foundation of faith. The garden and columbarium is positioned under the shady arms of one of the magnificent live oak trees. A water feature placed along the pathway provides a transition from the noise of daily activity to a space of tranquility through the calming sound of water. Comfortable benches are placed among the garden area, inviting one to come sit in quiet thought and prayer. On a recent poll, many congregants expressed a desire to purchase a niche, either for themselves or for a departed loved one. Additionally, the space is designed so it can be expanded for outdoor services, including funerals. Preliminary drawings will be located on the St. Michael and All Angels website, Facebook page, and posted in the parish hall. In the near future, the Memorial Garden Development Committee will be reaching out to the congregation to determine commitment levels that best meet the desires of the church members. All work and ideas are prepared and presented with those who have gone before us in mind. Those visionary folks in attendance at those early church gatherings, those taking the bold decisions looking forward by adding to the church campus with a vision of growth and in community of giving glory to God's many blessings.